Hello guys, welcome back. Um, this is not one of the video series, but this is just something I wanted to make. We've just gone over 400 subscribers whilst as well on holiday, so I was really pleased with that. But I wanted to have a look at this. Sorry for the, well, not sorry, because I did it on purpose. Very clickbaity title with this. I'll probably put some brackets on, because I probably won't be able to commit to it once I go through. Premier Manager on Xbox. There's obviously some brackets there. Um, I signed up for this recently. So this is Ant Stream Arcade. You may have heard of this. Um, it's basically a, a streaming subscription service. So I've got this on the Xbox. So we're on modern consoles. So it might look a bit different to what we are, we are used to. Um, but this has got Premier Manager 98 on it. And I wanted to put this up just to kind of get back into making videos after a bit of a week's delay from when the last series finished. But also because quite a few people were asking me, oh, how are you playing this? How does it look so good? Now, this is not how I was playing it. Um, I only discovered this was on there because well, as soon as I got it, probably similar to a lot of you, I searched for football uh, and I found that they've got not only Premier Manager 98, but they've got 97 from the Mega Drive, uh, which we will play at some, season, at some series, some point in the series. Um, and then they've got Premier Manager for the Amiga and then they've got Premier Manager for the Mega Drive. So that was the original Mega Drive one. I seem to think there was three on the Mega Drive, so I'll need to, I'll need to check that. Um, but they've got the, the four of them Technically, the three of them, three different games, but different systems. And we're going to have a quick, a quick playthrough of Premier Manager 98 to see is, is this useful to other people. Now, you'll see that I've got some saves there because I did some testing of this prior to going on holiday. Um, what is interesting for you, I'm going to hit play while we're waiting. Um, what is interesting is nothing is downloaded. This is all streaming. Behind my face here, it says uh, press the play button. So I'm going to do this. So this is all like a virtual machine is being streamed to us. Now I am on, and you can see the little Wi-Fi signal in the top right is kind of on yellow. I am on Wi-Fi in the cellar. So I'm, I've got a mesh system um, in the house that I installed, but it's not the quickest for online gaming. So I'm interested to see not only how this plays down in the cellar, um, but how do the highlights work? So for this, we are going to go with the, the career now, for anyone, I'm just going to turn this down because I don't know how loud that is through on your on your screens. Um, and I've also made the mistake of updating OBS prior to starting this. Um, so we're going to hit career. We're going to look at one of the, these teams. Tell you what, let's get rid of the name that is there. Glorious click. So this is the, I want you to go all the way through the season and not lose one match. I know we can do it. Oh, I can't actually hear what he's saying because I've got the volume turned so down. But you know the one I mean because people would talk about it. People still mention it in the comments. Uh, right, so here we go. We have got a choice of Brighton, avoid relegation, Cambridge United, mid-table, Chester City, avoid relegation, Darlington, avoid relegation, Exeter City, Hull City, Lincoln City, Maxfield, Mansfield, and Shrewsbury Town. I hope I've pronounced that right. Um, for no reason other than the fact this is geographically closest to where I have just been, I'm going to start as Chester City. And they are nicknamed the Blues, but I've got my white light on because I wasn't planning this. So for a start in the career, Let's have a quick look at how I, I'm, going to, I'm going to do this as if it was a, one of my playthroughs. Let's have a quick check of the squad. So you can see there's a little bit of glitch in there as it came through, but everything is there as you ex would expect. So Ronnie Sinclair and goal, Ross Davidson, Matty Woods, Julian Olso, Olsford, Ian Jenkins. Now, first little sign of the, um, the, the, the Wi-Fi buffering there or system buffering there. But like I said, this works pretty Floor, flawlessly. I paused there because I saw David Flitcroft. I'm like, is he related to Gary Flitcroft, who hates me so much? Um, I'm not sure. I'll have to check that. Oh, we've got, we've got, we've got an okay bench there. So we're going to avoid relegation. Now I missed this in my my living room playthrough of this, where where I found it, and I've played about 15 games upstairs, and they've, it's it's all been going pretty well. So. It's quite interesting being on this so soon having played 99 because I forgot how much it changed between um, iterations. If you think of a, a modern game like FIFA, a football manager, uh, as I should call it during this series, um, 
gets a lot of stick for being for being too similar season to season whereas if you if you play a game like this it is it is wildly different um, from one year to the next and it's like it just it seems mad that that was ever our usual convention if you get me so let's get rod thomas and rod mcdonald the rods the two rods I'll think of a different name. I'm always imagining people are, are, are like WWE because that is the correct term for it these days. I am one of those people who still tends to call it the WWF even though it's been longer one way than the other. If you know what I mean, you'll, that will make sense to you. Um, I should point out I'm very, very tired because we are literally, we've been back about four hours. We didn't get much sleep last night because of our, our, our caravan neighbors. Um, but so look, let's get this all set up. And as you can see, other than the fact, I believe the cursor is emulating the mouse. And again, we talk about the mouse a lot in the comments. Um, everything on this is, is like I expect. So if I, if I can get me my thumbstick up on shot. Got out of focus now. I'm not, I'm not really moving that. I've never, I've never tried to do this before and I'm never going to do it again because of how difficult it is to, to look at my OBS screen and look at this. But I'm only doing little clicks and it's moving. But once you get your, your head around that sensitivity, it's decent, yeah. Um, I possibly wouldn't suggest anyone would like Premier Manager enough to, to sign up for $39.99 a month, a year even, not a month, take that back. Um, on Xbox, I can't remember what it is on PC. Uh, but let's go into, tell you what, let's go into the options because we're going to do a few games, but let's put the match length to 60 sec 30 seconds. We were on a minute because um, that's the quickest. Right, it's going to ask us to do friendlies, if my memory is correct. Here we go. Now, I'm sure it was this game where someone mentioned if you play either a home game or an away game against Juventus, you make a lot of money. So I am going to play them home and away and pre pretend that it's some kind of glorious <laughs> cup that that we are in. I tell you what, let's play. Uh, let's play a team from our division. Who else were? Who else were in that? I tell you what, one of the, one of the most recent. I've seen them. One of the most recent comments was could you do a Gillingham career and let's do Plymouth because Rooney's there isn't he well, I only learned that today listening to the radio on the way home um yeah one of the most recent comments was could you do a Jill's career so let's get in I'm not going to do anything else we're going to get into a game I'm going to see how does the game run so I'm not going to go through our team but if you have a look at there's Peruzzi, Jero Ferrara who joined us on Premier Manager 99 um after the season they played because I've, I've kept going whilst i was editing i almost do that because i can never stop them paolo montario dimas Pasotto, uh, zidane delivio conte deschamps and then del, del piero and fonseca uh, and then i've got the <laughs> i've got the two rods the hot rods up front for me and one of them is scored in your face juventus uh, didn't even get a chance to enjoy that because uh, immediately losing. So I've not set up any tactics, any formation, anything like that. But you could see this is running pretty nice. We're going to, for the next one, I might try and do a transfer because it's me and I'm already like, oh, I should just do the the, the whole C season all the way through. It's Chester now. 5-1 um, down. <laughs> it's not going great. No one sent off, though. And we were, we were, we were beating... Juventus for for a glorious moment, um, and in this next one, let's say oh, I should have checked, should have checked the money before we started, which is in here to check out the um, whether that's true. So look, we've got nine nine hundred seventy six thousand available. So let's let's come back to that. Everyone remember that because um, I've got a dreadful memory, and we'll come back to them in a second. And see, do we still have? I've already forgot it. Nine nine hundred and seventy-six thousand, wasn't it? So I can't buy anyone because I don't want to mess mess up my my counting in my head. Tony Roberts got very excited to see him there. Vlorian Moldovan, another legend from one of our from from the um, I can't remember what it's called now. UEFA Euro two thousand where we didn't qualify um ian rush was on there he'd love it down in chester wouldn't he i bet he lived there at one stage so let's let's click through and let's whack this on skip to highlights 
Tell you what. I'm like, oh, I'm not going to try. I'm just going to go through it. And I, I can't. Let's get it on medium. Now, this I mentioned this on 99. It's interesting that that is, is missing. Let's go orthodox, long ball, man to man. From the Stadia della Alpi. Over in the Stadia della Alpi, Chesterfield were beating 5 1. So this is all loading pretty quickly, pretty nicely. Oh, Barry. Now, here's an issue. Um, it's saying circle for next, square to exit. Now, I don't know <laughs> which is which. I'm going to try the B button, which is the logical place of where square would be, if that, that, if that makes sense. Yes. So that's that's running pretty nicely. We're not going to watch the the whole match, but there's there's tiny little bits of buffering. But I'm really impressed with this. And like I said, there are other are other titles on on Ant Ant Stream, and you can and you, as you saw with mine, um, you've got some saves. So I could in theory load up the save where I've been playing as... I can't remember now. Darlington, I started as for that. Uh-oh, Flitcroft, come on. I don't need to say uh-oh, because he's playing for me. Um, but yeah, I could I can move between these because I, I have the Xbox One, um, or the Xbox One S, down here in the cellar, and I have my Series X in the living room, and which is why I'm always down here, because my kid is never off it, which I'm sure many of you can relate to. But as, as an alternative, if you've got an Xbox or a PC, I don't, I'm sorry I don't know the information um, for the video, whether it's on PlayStation. Um, but I'll find that out, I'll put it in the description. But if you've got that and you've got no other way or you can't get emulators running on a PC or you don't have a PC, um, good save, take that Conte. Um, you could potentially look at this as a way. Now, I don't know if they have any plans to add uh, any other football or sports titles, etc. Um, oh, I'm getting mugged off here, aren't I? But um, but is then if you and if you have a look through the library, it's not the most user friendly, I don't think, of menus. But it's it's definitely workable. Maybe at the end, I'll fire through and show you some of the profiles, some of the stuff I've been playing, just in case you've never heard of Antstream. I actually came across this for the, um, in person for the first time at the Nottingham Video Game Expo, where next year I am thinking of having my own stall, a, a not football manager stall, because of my confusingly named series slash channel name. Um, right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look, we're getting pasted here, so I'm gonna leave this and we'll see how long it takes us to go back. And then we'll check our finances. I'm aware that I'm always pointing at you. I'm really, I'm sorry for that. I hope you don't find it impersonal or aggressive. It's because I always see these managers pointing at people. It's just like seeped into my, um, my being. Right, few club finances. 2.9 million. So the people who were telling me that that was a cheat they were right. Now I'm like, wow, what am I playing Plymouth away for? We've just made like, what? What were we on before? 900, were we on 900,000? So we've just made 2 million um, in that one game. I wonder if you played them every game, if you would make 2 million per game at the Stadio della Alpi and whether that was deliberate or um, just a bug but amazing off to the transfer market even though that's not what this is supposed to be about um marcus bent you would love it you would love it down in chester teddy sheringham in rush in rush is nine thousand he's never gonna sign for me is he um is it i can't remember was there a way of you could only sign people if they were in the league directly above 
Am I misremembering that? I did play this recently, but I was playing as, as Blackburn. But I have, I have this unlocked memory in my conscious state coming back now, where like the best thing to do would be to find the teams in your league, and they well, let's go the other way because they go through in league order. So you would go, you would go to the league that you are in or the one above, and then it would be in the order that the league had finished in the previous season, if that makes sense. So once we get past, past all these Europe, these glamorous European sides, you'll start to see what I mean. So look, it starts with Halifax. So then you saw what I was meaning about the cursor there. I couldn't quite get it on. If you're playing on controller, it kind of snaps to the edges. So this is what this is like I said, I presume Jeff Horsfield, um, I presume it is emulating the mouse. Like I said, Rodney Jack, some great names down here, isn't there? Julian Olsop. Um, right, so yeah, so you would go through and you would look for the ones who were who is listed. So for example, Mark Leonard, you'd probably have a chance of signing him because he's from your division. Andy Kawamya, brother of Chris. So there we there we go. I hope that has been interesting for you in some way. I'm just gonna hit start because I'm like it is Gillingham. I did. Oh, Steve Butcher. They've got Eddie Akinbay and Andy Hessenthaler. They've got a great team. Um, but they've got. Um, it's a nice way of just if you've if you've got it, if you've got the Xbox and you've not got any other consoles, and you're not like me. Um, I would say that I'd normally have a, a, an, an abnormal amount of consoles plugged in at one time because I've got like a 16 port switcher. This is my controller dying, by the way, mid game because I never have any batteries. Um, down here that is nothing to do with the service so right guys so as mentioned that was my error I've now got an actual sparkling cable plugged into the Xbox so hopefully you can't hear that dragging over the mic arm um, as I'm playing but let's get back to this and you'll see what I mean in terms of it starting just straight off. So I'm free now down to, to Gillingham. I've got it on 60 seconds. I'm not doing very well, but what I'm going to do is the last thing. Bet I didn't make 2 million from that game, did I? Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, I'm going to go to the menu and save this, exit back to the menu, um, and then just show you the load speed. So like I said, here are the save slots. So I'm going to click slot two. Quit the game, leave the session, yes. So I'll tell you what, whilst I'm here, let us type football, because you see I just typed Premier there. So here's, here's the titles that have shown up with football. Um, keywords, I guess. So you've got, what have you got here? You've got Football Champ, Football of the Year, Football of the Year 2, it is, isn't it? You've got the Amiga and the C64 versions. So you've got multiple versions of different games as we saw before. Um, what have you got? Your Kickoff, Kickoff 3, End Zone, I think that's. Uh, so tell you what, let us just load up the Amiga version of Kickoff 3. Let's hit play. Shoot, slide, tackle, pass. So there we go. Anko Games, maker of player manager. I'm not going to play this though. I'm going to just quit back. Find Premier Manager and we'll see how quickly we can get back to our save. So, still got my search in a football. Now, I'm starting to think, yeah, I remember this now. So when I first started playing this, I was playing these and I hadn't noticed Premier Manager and I found them, I found it even in like a different menu that was like sports or something like that. And I was like, no way, they've got Premier Manager. Or maybe I typed Manager, I can't remember now. Um, right, so let's go Premier and search. And you see, it's got, it's got a continue. It's got my other save. So let's go. Let's go to save two. 
loading the game it's now saying play and we're back straight in no having to have loads of memory cards i've now not my room is full of memory cards sometimes i feel it is just memory cards um even though i have the fancy sd saver one i still try to use real memory cards because sometimes i find the well not i found with lma manager 2001 i had the glitch and i couldn't help but feel it was related to the 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 um aftermarket sd card plug-in memory card but here we go we've got plymouth i'm just going to hit go on that and put the pad down so i stop looking at the screen and talking about it but i hope like i said it's very different but it's just something i wanted to, to to fire out there if you've got questions feel free to ask them and if i don't know them um i will check them and i respond i will also check the place i've four nil down it's annoying me even though it shouldn't be i'm i feel like i'm in too deep um but like i said this is a really a really it seems like a really decent way um to play some of the titles that you may be after mainly the what i've played on here so far has been this and the other career um and then like stuff like i played like a bit of pac-man and a bit of other stuff like that with my kid and they've got some good challenges and stuff on here like what's the score you can get with um like one coin or one power up or whatever so they like, they do do some different stuff so let me know what you think of this have you tried it what do you feel do you disagree with me i've not really given a review i've just kind of shown you it's working um but yeah if you have any questions please let me know and thank you very much we will be back to the career series is um possibly from monday depending on my schedule so thank you